Hello everybody, and why is everybody remaking this movie? Yeah, this movie. It's Perfect Strangers, and it's an Italian movie. You've never heard of it? Yeah, I didn't either until my buddy told me recently, and I checked it out. And then I found out that 15 countries have or making a remake on it. Some of them include Russia, China, Greece, France, Sweden. Well, before I can answer the question of why everybody is remaking this movie, well, we have to review it. And obviously, as in all of my reviews, this video will not contain any spoilers because if you get interested in this film, you can go ahead and watch it. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. So let's get into the review. So the story follows a group of friends who get together for a dinner and all of them are old friends and they're with their significant others, except this one guy. And they decide to play a game where for the rest of the night, all of their emails, text messages, and phone calls on their phone will be public so they can prove that they don't even have anything to hide from each other. And obviously along the way, some secrets get revealed. The concept of the film, though it's simple, it's pretty effective. And the message of the movie, uh, by the end of it, you understand that it can be interpreted in two ways. Number one is that keeping secrets from each other is not a good idea, especially from the people you care about, because not only might get revealed, but it's also way better to communicate and try to understand what is going on. And the second is that maybe keeping secrets is sometimes a good idea, because maybe you're trying to protect the person you care about this way, and maybe some secrets are better off staying secrets. The movie is also very well written, and since this movie mostly consists of dialogues, it's very crucial here. And not for a second did I doubt that these people weren't actual friends having a chat. It really felt natural, and obviously, it also has to do with really, really good acting. Um, the actors in this movie, they do a really good job, as I say, they really felt like they were friends. So a really good job on both of those fields. Now there are also a couple of surprising moments, some plot twists in this movie. One which actually made me go like, what? It was towards the end, um, obviously not spoiling anything. And with this on, I need to get into the biggest problem of the film, and it is that it takes too long to get to the good stuff. The movie is hour and 30 minutes long, and things start to happen in about 40th minutes. And until that, it's mostly just not mostly, it's just these friends in front of the dinner table talking. And look, I didn't feel bored, I wasn't bored for a second there, but I wasn't invested either as much. I was just like watching and just, you know, listening, uh, waiting for some interesting stuff to happen. Uh, but as I say, it starts at 40th minute and it just starts there. Um, things get crazy uh, by the end, uh, mostly like after an hour like in the last 30 minutes. Uh, and again, I'm okay with that because it's not like an action movie. I'm not expecting some crazy stuff to happen, but maybe in those 40 minutes, I mean, something more interesting should have happened because the dialogue between these people can be so interesting. It's just, you know, friends having just friend talk. That's mostly the biggest problem of the film, in my opinion. And look, uh, my buddy who did recommend this movie to me, he said that for him, it was like 10 out of 10. and that before, you know, even the craziest things happened, he felt kind of uncomfortable even watching these dialogues. I mean, it made him feel uncomfortable, kind of cringeworthy. You know, maybe you will feel that way. Maybe you will feel more interested and you will feel some emotions listening to the dialogues. Maybe it will make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe you'll laugh. Maybe you'll make you cringe. In a good way, by the way, in a good way. But for me, it didn't. I just, you know, I sat there and as I said, my favorite part of the film is by the end, like the last 30 minutes, it was really good. But before that, as I said, I mean, it's a little slow and a little too kind of simple, not as exciting. But overall, this movie was pretty good. I mean, I don't regret watching it. I had a good time. I didn't feel bored. It was fine. And uh, by the end, as I said, things were really, really interesting. And the movie is well written, well acted. And I mean, if 15 countries are or have remade this movie, then there is definitely something to check out. And I'm giving this movie seven and a half out of 10. Now let's try to answer the question why all these countries want to make their own remake of this film. The answer is actually pretty simple. The concept of the movie is as simple as it gets, but at the same time it's effective and it's pretty clever. So any country there is, they can make their own remake. I mean, 
The story is just about friends who get together for dinner and they decide to play this game and secrets get revealed. Any country can make this movie. Obviously, along the way, countries will change some details around because, you know, of the cultural difference, but overall, it's going to work everywhere. And so that is the answer. It's pretty simple and pretty understandable. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you seen Perfect Strangers? If you have, what do you think about it? I want to know. And if you haven't, let me know if you're going to and if this video intrigued you. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you don't want to miss my other movie and TV show related content, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.